One of the highlights of coming home during the festive season is running errands around my state, Anambra State. And in this video, we will run a few errands. So join me and my family as we drive around Anambra State. If you have never seen Anambra State, this is your opportunity. I've noticed that a lot of Nigerians have not traveled around Nigeria, so they don't know what other parts of Nigeria look like. Only one more. Huh? Where are we going? We are going to the bank. <laughs> to do what? To pay my exam fee. <laughs> A lot of people left her exam fee. This exam fee today is the deadline. Now I have to jump out of the house. <laughs> Bye, sweeties. Bye, my babies. Now I have to jump out of the house to go and puzzle for her wire. Because she is in SS3. I tell them. Start talking to them. I'm a student of. I'm in SS3. We'll be writing our exam next year. And they told us to pay our WAYEC fee before 31st. So I told my uncle before. Continue. So we are going to the bank now. <laughs> to pay my exam fee. Mm. I'm so happy <laughs> that I'm among those that pay their exam fee before the deadline. <laughs> so, what do you want to be after your secondary school? I want to be a nurse. <laughs> you want to be a nurse? Uh, Obodo Ibo nurse. <laughs> she will study nursing and she will go to US in Jesus' name. Amen. But if Peter B becomes president, you don't need to go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> oh, one more. Only one more. Yes. Only one more. We fashion parade. We fashion parade that is here. Yeah. place we are supposed to make the payment they've closed it's not even 4 p.m yet and they've closed how do you why oh you have me so why we're gonna try on monday not even monday monday is public holiday so tuesday we're gonna try on tuesday that's what you get when children don't tell you things on time. She told us that they were paying school fees. We thought that's everything. We paid that one a long time ago. They said they would pay school fees for the whole year, first, second, and third term. But she didn't talk about this wire. It was when I came back, I started interviewing her, asking her about her wire, whether she was reading her books. And then she started telling me about deadline and all. Okay. We went back later and made the payment. See her Come filling on, the bank on. teller for the payment. This is a branched palm tree in Omonze. The real one fell a long time ago and this festive season they installed an artificial one as a monument to keep it here forever. I heard that they made a special order for this one from China. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Today, we are going to Oka, the state capital of my state, Anambra State. Since Umonze is a border town close to Imo and Abia states, it's quite a distance to get to Oka. Our only saving grace is the more than 800 kilometers of roads and several bridges built by Peter Obi. Yeah, the man of the moment when he was governor here more than 10 years ago. These roads are still serving us. That's why it's good to leave a good legacy wherever you pass through. 
people will still remember you for what you did for years to come. Just like I am leaving a good legacy on this YouTube by uploading valuable videos for you all. Have you liked this video yet? Have you? Have you? Because I don't ask this question in my festive season vlogs, you all think that liking a video is no longer important. Okwia? Okay. Odemma. You guys continue treating me anyhow you like. Onanugo. This is Anambra State NYSC camp, again built by Pitobi. He's a man that thinks about the masses. He doesn't like people suffering. He saw that the old temporary camp was not conducive, so he made plans for a new one, paid the mobilization for it, and set aside some funds for its completion when he was leaving office. He is Mr. Talk and Do. That's why I'm rooting for him. Are you rooting for him? Are you? Are you? Maji, I'm Nibo. This is Nibo Town. Ekenibo to be specific. Nibo people report below now now before before I open my eyes. <laughs> Later you people will say that I don't show Nibo. I'm showing you now. Come and report here. <laughs> And that's the Anambra Government Lodge in Amobia. Amobia is a town next to Oka, our capital. And even long before Anambra State was created, Oka and Amobia have merged and become like one city. Conurbation happened here a long time ago, so the uninitiated can't even tell the difference between the two towns. Hence, why the Government Lodge can be here while the Government House is in Oka town. This area is still Amobia town. That's Enugu Onisha Express Way down there, where you see that bridge. Going left leads to Onisha Bini Lagos, and right leads to Enugu Abakiliki Cameroon. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we are going to pick up a waybuild delivery at one of the transport companies here in Oka. The young babes in the family ordered some goodies on Instagram, so we are going to pick them up. We don't know where it is exactly, so we are using Google Maps to find our way. This is Unizig Junction, where the temporary site for Nnam Diazikiwe University was before they moved to the permanent site. Unizig students, is there still anything going on here or has everything moved to the permanent site? Please let me know below. Where we are going to is around here, so we need to slow down now and peel our eyes. <laughs> Package picked up off to Chukwe Mecca Odmegwo Juku University Teaching Hospital. Okay, so I can do it. 
that's aroma junction up there that second bridge up there you turn right here and you have the teaching hospital when you hear that Peter will be built the fastest teaching hospital from scratch this is it he has told this story several times about how the nigerian medical council wanted to shut down the college of medicine at anambra state university one of the greatest people that helped in my government is here professor Fume. when i became governor nigerian medical council refused and said to me that the university of anambra state university medical school is shut down and I asked why they said to me, you have no teaching hospital. And you cannot have a medical school without a teaching hospital. Yeah. He was the leader of that team. And I remember, legendary office, you cannot punish the students because of the mistake of the government. Can you allow me to build a teaching hospital in two years? All the panel members said, it will not be possible. Professor Sumer said, why don't we give him two years? Go to Anambra State University. I built the fastest teaching hospital ever used in It will be tried now. With Pitobi, there are a lot of firsts. You normally hear that he's the first governor to do this, he's the first governor to do that. The word impossible does not exist in his dictionary. Never mind his modest nature. That man is Ago, a lion. Or is it a tiger? Which one? I ask because Igbos are always arguing about which one is Ago and which one is Odom. Anyway, whichever. The guy is a lion. He charges like a lion whenever he wants to get something done. After what we came to do, we went to refill at Ofiaco Kitchen. This is another branch of Ofiaco Kitchen. Remember some time ago when my brother-in-law and I went to the one inside town? This one is just close to the express. We went to chop correct bitter leaf soup before somebody faints in our car bag. <laughs> After that, we went back to the village. Click the video on the screen to see what else we got up to while in the village. Bye-bye. See you soon.